here are lots of patchwork designs which have been made by dividing a circle up into different numbers of sections. This one has got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 sections and this one has got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 sections. All the following designs have been made on the same principle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sections. What do they all have in common? They all have in common that they've been made using the circle slice ruler. This replaces a protractor. The ruler comes with its own instruction sheet. If you wanted to create a circular design that had, let's say, five sections, one, two, three, four, five, you'd normally divide five into 360 degrees to use a protractor to make the angle in the center correct. Using the circle slice, you can forget all about degrees the only thing you've got to decide is how many sections you want in your design. Here's the ruler. The ruler has lots of lines through the centre and on each line there is a circled number. And the circled numbers are the number of sections that you can choose from to put in your design. The ruler works on any straight line or for some kind of designing it works on the edge of your paper. All you do is revolve the ruler around and let's put seven sections in a design at the moment and seven would involve half a degree if you were using a protractor. So all you do is you revolve the ruler until the circled seven and the centre of the little star are sitting on the line that you have just drawn. And you draw another line which crosses the first at the side of the ruler that's nearest to you. The angle you're measuring is always under the ruler between these two lines. So that angle would give you seven slices in a design. No more worrying about degrees. The little star on the ruler here has only one purpose and that is to make you look at the bottom of the ruler when you're actually measuring the angle. So if I'm looking here at the seven and the line going through it, the bottom of the line must go through the centre of the little star and that's the little star's only purpose. The next choice you can make is how big your design is going to be. And the point here would be the centre of any circle. So the ruler actually measures from the centre to the edge of the circle. It measures the radius, but it actually tells you the diameter. So there's no maths involved in this at all. There are no measurements from the end here up to the first line here where the little star is. And you can forget the little star from now on, you've used it, it served its purpose. The lines here start measuring. So we put the ruler so that the first line is down here at the centre of the circle. And we mark off at face value. So if you wanted a 14 inch circle, you'd mark it there. There's no maths involved at all. And then you just revolve the ruler and put the little line here just again at the centre of the circle down here at the point and then you would mark it off again at 14 inches or whatever you chose and then link these two. Now seven of them will make a circle and the diameter of the circle at this point will be 14 inches because the other seven inches will be out on this side of the design this is only one half of the design. The sections that will fit together to make our circle at the moment all have flat tops on them. This can be quite useful for creating some designs. But if you want to have a round top on it to make a perfect circle, that's very simple too. All you do is put the line here where the measurements start, back here at the centre of the circle, and mark your 14 inches as many times as you like and it's like children's books where you join the dots when you connect these dots up you will get the perfect top to your circle and your circle will be round. Full instructions for all the techniques you can use the circle slice ruler for are found in this book Slice Up a Circle. There are lots and lots of different looks and they're all created with this little ruler simply and easily. The circle slice can also be used with this book Paradise Flowers. 
Although it isn't necessary for the basic design technique to create the flowers, it takes the technique into different directions and so you can create circular designs that are original as well. So this little ruler takes all the guesswork and all the inaccuracy out of creating multi-sectional circular designs. It makes them easy and fun. And that's how it should be.